G- given the interview we just had about uh, about Wuhan and about transfer of technology and, and Wuhan working the American intelligence services, and you've got Rebecca Koffler that says it's a huge uh, failure, that China had a, the PLA and CCP had a uh, had an active offensive biological weapons program. In the new federal state, this is pretty much known by all the members of the new federal state, and we talk about it all the time. There's no secrets here. That being said, what did you think last night of the of the kickoff for the the China Select Committee, where they're talking about their strategic competitors, and it seemed very, very lightweight, very namby pamby. What what is, what is your initial assessment given the the controversy over Wuhan to what happened last night on Capitol Hill? Yes, absolutely. So remember, the CCP virus killed more than one million American people's life. And we're talking about competition. No, this is not about the competition. This is a life and death threat. CCP is the existential threat to America, to American people's life, liberty and the future. And I would also argue that uh, I saw on the news that there were two protesters uh, holding a sign to say uh, China is not our enemy and stop the Asian hate. So I would say... If we want to fight the Asian hate, if we want a peace, love, and unity, we need to take down the CCP. And the real xenophobia, racist, is the CCP. And this country needs to stand united together against the CCP. In this country, I think the Chinese Americans should be the should be leading the crusade against the CCP. Last night, the Prince. Before I go to you, I want to just follow up with Nicole. Um, they one of the congressmen came on because the the signs up there saying. Uh, this is China is not our enemy. As you know, I'm one of the co-founders with Miles uh, of the new federal state. Absolutely, China is not the enemy, and the Chinese people are not the enemy. The enemy is the CCP, and the CCP's number one, uh, it, it, the, what they're trying to destroy is Lao Beijing, is the Chinese people. W- what didn't the protesters understand about that? Well, I think uh, the protesters actually are saying the exact very truth that we want to promote. We love China. We love the Chinese people. But the CCP does not represent China nor the Chinese people. In fact, the CCP wants to conflate the uh, CCP and the Chinese people and China. So I think the protesters need to be well educated. And I, I, I think all the American people should also understand the clear difference between the CCP and China and Chinese people. And I would also credit you know, a big time to you and Mr. Uh, Mao School who have been educating the Western society about the difference, which is critical because we do not want the CCP to criminalize all the Asian Americans, especially the Chinese Americans. When we're fighting the CCP, this is not racism. We're fighting the CCP, who is the biggest racist against the Chinese people. And China is, is not our enemy. China is our friend. And we need to establish the real relationship with the Chinese people who are not represented by the CCP. That would be the new federal state of of China as a start. 